Well, um, I fought the Fox main, Tom Thomas, at Fight Pit 6, and he was very tough and gave me a run for my money. But he didn't take your money? No. Because I remember who won that tournament. Really? Who, who won that? Oh, wait, Fight Pit 6. Yeah, that was you. <laughs> So we got we got James Swedish Delight rocking the pup tag Central Florida represent and uh, Cody is IBDW he's from New York City he goes to school in Rochester he's been playing for about a year and a half maybe and uh, already seen a meteoric rise to number seven and anybody who knows him well will laugh at that number because it's a meme. And he's, so I feel like he's a pretty, you know, he's pretty fast, Fox, pretty aggressive. We were playing a lot of friendlies with him earlier, and he kind of does a good job of like, stock tanking, even though he's I putting mean, in but work. I mean, he, yeah. I mean, look, I mean, he's the only guy with four stocks right now, and that's obviously early in the match. But he very consistently, like, goes in, puts a lot of work, and keeps his stock. Which is appropriate because his tag, IBDW, originally stood for, I be doing work. <laughs> and MWL with that monster tipper just did work on Swedish Delight, getting him down to two stocks already. Oh! Swedish answers back, but then doesn't complete the edge guard. So we have a tight battle. Lead for the blue team because the percent on Mark. And there's the stock. I like what that Mark did, uh, like using down air as a combo starter. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see a lot of Mars do that. It's just kind of like Falcon when Falcon starts a combo with down air. Oh! Grab. Can they follow up on the edge guard? It's gonna take. Oh, okay. Ooh, wow. That was a Hard read. Very rewarded well. Well, I wouldn't even say it was a hard read because uh, it seemed like they were covering the other, or James, uh, Swedish was covering the other option. I suppose, but if the Fox had gone straight instead of at that slightly upward angle, IBDW would have just gotten hit. Yeah. I guess it would have been dangerous for him to go straight though because he had to assume IBDW was going to stay on the ground and oh shoot, that's too bad. So Red Fox went to grab ledge because he wanted to edge guard sheep. But Marth got that grab. Oh, oh missed the grab charge and go. Charge it for a little bit. Yeah, it didn't even really need to charge it, I think. Yeah. Marth's down throw leads really nicely about like a Marth's roll length away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so down throw from Marth, up smash from Fox is classic. In New York, they call it the grab and go for uh, DJ Nintendo and the Moon. That's their team name. All right, pretty close. Yeah. But in general, like the team stuff was good. I think um, I think the red team, particularly Marth, uh, MWL, was kind of like the edge play was a little sloppy. And so especially against Swedish, like he'd get Swedish off stage and almost get the kill, but then let him back, and then Swedish would get him off stage and secure the kill. So yeah, you have to realize like the risk reward of the edge guards. And yeah, when it's better to just. Late, late from DE. Especially because Sheik can really afford to go off stage and edge guard pretty easily. Because edge guarding Sheik takes a long time, so it's not like there's a great punish. And then, of course, if you do get Sheik off stage, edge guard even takes a long time. Yeah. So you're not getting a lot of it. Like here. Ooh, oh, see, he could, oh, that's what I was talking about. The counter yeah. hunt. He over committed to kill Sheik, but because of that. Oh! I, interesting. Uh, <laughs> James <laughs> isn't too shook about it. He's always smiling and having fun. Yep. Good reverse move. Yeah. See, I think like Mark taking the ledge there, like it maybe threatened something for Sheik, but then it just put Red Team in a bad position. Yeah. And now they're getting knocked around for it. Good counter though. See I mean, again, like he go kind of use the shy guys. To know that, like, if he did throw a move out, the hitbox would get extended, so it was gonna get countered. Right, right. Oh, and that series. Oh, oh wow! I was gonna say that series of backers from Swedish could have ended up saving uh, Red Fox, but he kind of missed Randall on his recovery. Yeah, I call that field goal <laughs> when you like hesitate <laughs> between ledge and Randall. And right in the middle. Did you make it <laughs> split the uprights? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I think 
James could have seen that a bit better and not gone for it. Yeah. Because the shine, I saw the shine there. Do not count out Swedish Delight. He did win a 2v1 against PPMD and Lazar at Bad Moon Rising. Wow, that's impressive. And I don't think... Okay, it worked out, but I don't know if that was a good idea to just leave the Fox against Swedish. Because even though Swedish was at high percent, like, it's Swedish Delight. Yeah, I'd much rather do a 2v1. But I didn't see any moments where he was, like, super safe. There was one moment, but it passed quickly, and he didn't take the sock. So, like, what we were talking about earlier. Well, right, but were, okay. So that that is something interesting because I think what what is the difference between when your teammate is safe or not safe, making it a good time to take a stock to share stock. Like, if you can get to a spot where you're confident that you can avoid the opponent for like you know at least one second, then your opponent should take the stock. But. So why, why would that be a good time for your teammate to take the stock instead of when you're in trouble? Um, Because you have more time of doing a 2v1 instead of a 1v1. Right, because if you're in trouble and your teammate takes the stock, you might just die and then it's a 1v1 again. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a good edge card by MWL. Oh, I don't know about that Nair. I think down tilt would have been good. Because when his teammate got hit so far behind him, you just sort of want to hold your space. Mm. Just I didn't stay see it. safe. It was from the Marth. Okay. Combo. Okay. Oh, shoot. See? He overextended to get that. No. Uh, no. <laughs> that combo happens to me a lot, and I'm just now learning myself that um, basically what he should have done is reverse up B, yeah. I think. Because down air is so cool. And it I, is so cool. And I always want to end it with down air if I can. Ooh. Nice edge hug. But uh, sometimes all you can reach is a reverse up B, which is like really strong too. This guy. <laughs> TRL just went in with, with the multi shines and then ended up on the air, so he got hit. Yeah, funny how often that happens. <laughs> Not oh. sure why he went for that. He was already in a good spot with. Fox up being, and he was, he had the ledge. Right. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I liked all that play, because I think after he grabbed the edge twice, blue team would be looking for a chance to steal the edge from him, mm -hmm. so he didn't drop down. Yeah, that was But good. blue team also waited, so everyone waited, and it was, it was good. I think it ended up working out well for the red team, but uh, now they're both on their last stock. Yep. And I do not know if this is a best of three or best of five. This is winner's semis. Nor do I. I hope it's best of five, because he's a good team to play. I'm assuming we are going to play the Peach Eyes Mothers team. Correct. Next. Yeah, Arc Trace and Semi. Yep. That'll do it. It is best <laughs> of five. Communication. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give a big shout out to everybody who's uh, running the bracket, running the stream. This stream is fantastic. Great quality, great communication all around. <laughs> it's very good. I'm loving it. So we have uh, game four coming up. Oh, Plup switching to his new. Oh, Plup. <laughs> the Plup Samus. Samus. And IBDW inside is saying, please stay chic, please stay chic. <laughs> because he felt we were playing friendlies, and James. You know, he went Falco a couple games and it really didn't go well. And James says, I think this is our team. Because, <laughs> you know, he does that. He just likes to have fun. And oh my goodness, and they got nothing out of it. But it's still a pretty good stage position. Can I do anything? And <laughs> he was like, Can you just please go Sheik? You're going to go Sheik in bracket. You're going right? Sheik in bracket, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, No. Ooh, a little slow on that forward smash. Oh! TRL going in! I think they could have got a better team tech chase there. They kind of like just left tech away open. Yeah. And he tried to cover tech in place and then behind him he tried to cover inward. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, the first thing I guess is whoever's cl- whoever's closer to the away option should be covering oh, center and should, away. Should should be covering that away option. Yeah, and they, and by going to cover the away option, they end up covering the center option. And then whoever is farther from it obviously just covers the away. And Mars nice. is going to be living from that. Nice. Oh, uh, drill to up tilt. Yeah. Um, that does combo if you do it right. And oh wow! It does kill at that percent. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. <laughs> so again, here's IBDW holding his stocks. Great DI, still living. But right. now he's in trouble because. Oh wow! Yeah. Surprise, Mark died from that. I was worried that, uh, oh, yeah, just an up smash. Yeah, Marth doesn't have the best kill power, so usually he has to try very hard <laughs> to... <laughs> oh, I... And Marth is just... I, I, I'm, I'm sure MWL is not happy right now. He just died, like, three times in, like, yeah. 30 seconds. That's what happens. Marth needs a legend. Now he's dead again. Oh, my gosh. All right, and... Oh wow, that just is going to turn around terribly. They had, they were playing so well at the beginning, and it just gives yep. up. And that is it. All right, that's I it. believe so we are up. We next. are up. So stream, good knowing you. We'll catch you later. Yep, I believe it's semi and. Yep.